we have been in this country ravaged by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And there is a very good insecticide that we use called sniper. Sniper is costly, but once you sprinkle it, the mosquitoes will flee. Cockroaches will die. Very, very powerful. I now heard some months ago that they have banned sniper. Why? Because people we are drinking sniper anyhow. Anyhow, people jumping into lagoons, people jumping into the river because of only one thing, because of the loss of hope. Today, sniper is very costly in the market. People, we are drinking it to commit suicide. People, we are just giving up and ending their lives. You can't give life, but you took life because of hopelessness. I saw someone, recently I was watching on YouTube, a boy who had burns, 95, about 90 to 95 degree of burns. The hands were burnt off. Both hands were burnt off. The whole body, you don't see any skin. It's just small thing. In his head, you see a small portion of hair, very tiny. And he said, naturally, I'm a happy person. And I was looking at him. Did he kill himself? Look at your Bible again. Now we are going to read from verse 1. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherewith we stand. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience, experience, and experience hope. Verse 5. Can everybody read it together? And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. Say amen. amen. There is so much hopelessness. As a matter of fact, in this country, each time we run elections, for many years now, many decades, we now begin to count when another election will come so that we can change leadership. The recent one was, oh, we need change, 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 and the change we have received. And people who ask for change, even me, I was happy. I was happy. I said, at least, at least, Maybe this is the will of God. Let's accept it. At least things will change. From a military point of view, today, the military point of view has failed us. Now we need change. But there is one thing that we need more than change. And that is hope. Because the change will definitely come. But if hope, if our hope cannot survive us, we will not see it. Hope shall not disappoint us. God no go shame us at all. There are some of us that may be asking God, God, why is my life like this? Me, I have asked those questions. In fact, I asked them so much that I finished them. I don't have any other one to ask again. God, why me? I finished all my, God, why me? I finished all those questions. Remember some years ago, we are coming from the farm in Uzere. We were telling stories. At a point, the person in front of me was no longer hearing from me. I was at his back. When he turned back, he saw me crying. And it was almost a daily routine. Cry every day. It became a part of my life. But I know that if we can look up to God and do not give up on ourselves, if we do not give up on the promises of God, we must surely arrive. The truth is that it will only take time. How many of us have seen ourselves in a vehicle and then you see somebody trekking? After a while, when you stop, maybe after getting to where you are, you now discover that the person that evil trek is passing you in a go slow, in a hold up. Have you seen it before? Then you say, look at somebody that is trekking. It's a matter of determination. If you do not stop, you will get there. There is a kind of boat. There is a boat in the river and area they call back, back, back. Back, back, back. You know it. 
You know it. Quack, quack, quack. It doesn't move fast. If you are in a speedboat, speedboat will move. Boom. But quack, 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 we always get to its destination. It's called quack, quack, quack because it doesn't move fast. It's very, very slow. Very, 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 very slow. Some of us, we are overtaking God because the speed of God at a particular time, at one point in time, is not enough for us. But do you know what is called a tortoise car? Eh? If you overspeed it, it will catch fire. I mean, beetle, 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 beetle's car. Eh? Tortoise car. If you overfire, it will do what? It will catch fire. And some of us, we are on a very high speed. Because we believe that the speed of God is too slow for us. And we need to overtake some of our neighbors. If you do not give up, if you can continue to hope in God, this will definitely get better. But the size of your dream determines the number of obstacles and the height and the depth of obstacles you are going to meet in life. If you are uh, in a football field and you are by the goal post, of your own side people may not have problem with you but the moment you cross the line and you are by the goalpost of the, your opponent you become a point of attack because people know that you are going to score the goal the pharaohs in egypt many pharaohs came and they were never bothered but when it came to the time of the israelite coming out of egypt something went wrong in the spirit realm there was a signal, there was a bear that the people they have been enslaving for over 300 years the people are about to live in Egypt and they said every male child must die some people take their own lives the morning of the very day their appointment arrived let me tell you there is no problem that has no solution in fact Problems will always come with their solutions. Some of us, we have become so busy, too busy, that we no longer even have time for God to speak to us. I tell you, the early hours of the morning after you have slept and woken up is very, very powerful. Unfortunately, that is when some of us go to social media and begin to update our status, look at WhatsApp, you leave WhatsApp to Instagram, from Instagram you go to YouTube, from YouTube you go to Pinterest, from Pinterest you go here and there and there and there. Before you know it, no time for money devotion. And then the prayer, plus God, minus devil, and you are going. And the angel of the Lord, the spirit of God that's supposed to give you ideas, will be so will now become disappointed because there is no communication. When Daniel and the other three Hebrew uh, uh, children, when they met with a riddle to crack, they told the king, Don't worry, give us time. We are going to ask our God, just give us time. They went into their closet and they asked God, God, what do I do? A man who will always meet God in the secret will never be confused in the public. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website, www.hosannadavid.com. Email us at info at hosannadavid.com. God bless you.